India has warned it's prepared to use force to secure its economic interests in the South China Sea. It's after allegations that Beijing had deliberately hampered its rivals' oil and gas exploration efforts. As RT's Yugor Piskunov reports, if they can't settle their dispute amicably, there are others who are ready to take full advantage. As China and India rise economically, their military muscles are growing as well. Both need energy to keep that kind of growth going, and that may be putting the two Asian giants on a collision course. Because of domestic nationalism, the Indian government cannot afford to be seen to be weak in dealing with China. Obviously, a higher profile will make the government popular. Over 200 billion barrels of oil and large amounts of natural gas. That's more than the vast majority of the world's energy-rich nations have, all hidden under the South China Sea. China claims most of the territory for itself, but India has also managed to get access by buying a stake in a Vietnamese gas field. Shortly after Hanoi accused Chinese boats of sabotaging exploration, India warned it's ready to use force to defend its interests. Hopefully, as I said, it should not lead into a more longer-term conflict. Uh, but uh, you, it's, it's in a way inevitable because both these countries have large uh, ambitions of becoming global actors and players. Both China and India have been pumping billions of U.S. dollars into their armies and navies, holding drills on a regular basis. And Beijing has also announced its police will soon start to board and inspect foreign vessels. Surely the vast oil reserves in the South China Sea are just too big of a cash for neither China or India to pass up. But is it really worth a conflict between the two economic powerhouses, since it may be a game that neither can win? The two Asian giants can't afford any weaknesses. That would make it easier for other countries to take a bite of the vast resources. The U.S. has long been increasing its economic and military presence in the region. The thing is, the West is trying to depict this expansion by both India and China in terms of a clash. Uh, for both of them, the, the last thing that they want is a military clash. So if the two eastern powerhouses can't share nicely, the catch may very well go to some other players already prowling on the sidelines. Igor Piskunov, RT.